hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much I appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all let's get to it let's get to it now first i want to say happy wednesday i hope everybody's having a wonderful day please stay safe and all that good stuff please stay aware of your surroundings and watch the company that you keep it just may save your life okay y'all so i want to get into the story i wanted to do this yesterday about king von um, I had so much stuff going on yesterday that I did not get to it and I got tired by the time I did, but I had to talk about this whole little situation with King Bun. Okay, y'all. And not only just King Bun, but are y'all noticing how, um, footage is coming out left and right on Chicago artists. Now that little J-hole situation um, I don't blame them and putting him on blast because he just straight out, flat out lied. Okay, y'all. He just lied about everything. There were all kind of rumors coming out that, you know, he swinged that route. But, um, he chose to lie. <laughs> he chose to come out and just, just, just debunk the whole thing. Like he didn't do anything. He didn't. And you know, now it's all in his face that yes, this was your girl in, in a jail. And then people are still trying to, you know, um, they're still trying to defend little Jay saying that might not even been him and all of that. People still try to make excuses for people when they're out here fruity pebbling. Okay. Y'all. Well, I don't think this is the case for King Von. Not at all. And to be honest with you all, I think that people are still hating on King Von. Even with him gone, he, they're still hating on King Von. And it was just something about him that he was so full of life. It was something about him that, you know, he came from the, you know, the gutter. And he made it. And people just couldn't, they couldn't stand that swag. And I, I, I say this all the time, that people do not like Chicago artists. And they could not stand his swag. And I think this is still the same case with um, a lot of Chicago artists. They do not like them for some earthly reason. I have no clue, but the industry do not like them. And this is proof. Th this this is proof right here, y'all, that King Von is gone, and they still trying to you know um, smear his name and everything. Okay. Um, I didn't get to everybody's video yesterday, but a few people that I was subscribed to, they disappointed me when they started talking about King Von and talking about, you know, um, he was Fruity Pebble and this and that and that and this. And I'm going to tell, I'm going to be completely honest with you all. I unsubscribed from people because of the fact that they came out and said that, you know, the things they said about King Von, I unsubscribed. Because I'm going to tell you this right now, and I believe this wholeheartedly, that those same bloggers that was running around talking about King Von, he tried to be hard and this and that, you can't take no weapons in a jail and this and that, them same exact bloggers, I guarantee you, if they were put in the same position, situation, whatever you want to call it, um, they would have did the same thing. See, they can't understand the survival mode of people that's in, in the chat. And I'm going to tell you this. If I was in a street association and I went to prison and I was in a wing of all my enemies and I didn't have anybody on that wing to, you know, help me get through a daily situation with the all my ops, I wouldn't want to be there either. I wouldn't want to be there. I would make any excuse to get off of that wing and go over where my own people at. At least it's a mixture so that if something goes down, I got some help. Ain't no way in the world somebody want to go to jail and fight every day. 
every single day you wake up, you don't know who's going to come at you with whatever, 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 because you have been put over there with a total different street association and you, you know, you just left out. And it, it made, it made me wonder, you know, did they do this on purpose? And when I say they, that, that's meaning the police and all of this stuff. Did they take King Von and put him over there in the mix of all his ops on purpose just to see how he would act or survive on a daily basis? But he still came with scripts so he can leave from over there. Who would deal with that on a regular basis? People out here talk about, oh, he dodging the smoke, he this, he that. That ain't no smoke. That's a full-blown fire. And who the heck want to deal with that every day? I can't stand some bloggers, I swear, because they if they were put in these positions, they themselves would have done the same thing. Now, those of you do, that don't know what's going on, I'm going to play a little bit of this uh, recording so you can hear what King Von said. And he said it so smoothly because he did not want to go and have to fight every day. Let's go. Come on, pictures. What's that coming to do? Oh, please come on, pictures, man. Where's the plumber at? In there? It's the only place I've been on the place. Got a problem, man. They're supposed to be a Christian thing, but they got a problem with gay people. They're going to be Christian. So because of your sexual orientation, you're requesting protective custody, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. So he says, because of your sexual orientation, you are requesting protective custody. And he said, yes. They didn't went in his, in his little room and everything. They didn't took his pictures out. And it was going to be a problem every single day on this wing. He knew it. The, the officers knew it, too. They know what street association you are in when you come in there. They know all of this stuff. They keep up with every tattoo you have on you, all of that stuff. So for them to put him over there in the first place, this all was a setup in the first place. You know, they, they act as if they care about the inmates, but they really don't. Because if they put you over there with your, your, your ops, they just want to see how you're going to react. And as you can see, they're recording the whole thing at the same time. Everything is being recorded. And this this should, to be honest, this should be against the law for them to release footage inside of the prison, the jails, when you're being questioned, all of this stuff. This should be against the law for them to release this type of stuff. Ask yourself, how did this footage make its way to YouTube, y'all? If there is not something being pushed, an agenda being pushed, and not the Fruity Pebble agenda, because we know that he said this for one reason. He did not want to have to, you know, put paws on people and people putting paws on him every single day. That was the only purpose that he said this for. So y'all mean to tell me that Jay-Z can come with script every day? And when Jay-Z come with script, they want they decide to put his script all over the library. Okay, y'all? But when King Von comes with some script, some survival mode script, not no bullcrap script that you didn't learn from somebody else because Jay-Z ain't what who he claimed to be. Okay, y'all? But when somebody that's out here in, you know, in the midst of everything have some script for you and the police and the this and the that, y'all want to flip the script on him and try to make him look bad. You know, I'm so sick of certain bloggers. I, I can't stand it. And those, they know who I'm talking about because I unsubscribe from them, okay? I cannot stand certain people. And and, and I'm going to tell y'all this. This is how it has been for a very long time. There are certain bloggers that get on here and they talk this talk. And if they're put in the same position, they would have did the same exact thing. It's sad, but this is the this is what it is. It's just like Boosie's daughter say that I ain't never got knocked out. She was letting the cat out the bag that Boosie got knocked out. She was letting the cat out the bag, letting people know every this person that y'all idolize, 
It's nothing. It's he's nothing. Y'all act like he's on a pedestal. He didn't get shorties to do all of his work for him. And y'all act like Boosie is the, the yin yang. Without them shorties that he can pay to go do his dirty work, Boosie is nothing. And a lot of more people out here is nothing. There are females out here that's harder than the majority of the guys that's out here right now. And I could not believe, I was so disappointed in Colt Figure. I was, I was truly disappointed in him that he came at King Von like that. And so many others. I didn't, get a, I didn't even get a chance to get around to other people, okay? I didn't get a chance to get around to other people. I didn't. To see what they were saying. But the few people that I did that were saying, you know, the things that they were saying, I was like, really? Really? We got OG Percy out here shaking hands with, you know, the Rainbow Tribe. And they got the nerve to put OG in the front of his name. Just call him Mr. Purse. Okay, y'all? If you want to call out somebody, call out the people. You know, they got videos out here talking about, you know, um, Jay-Z. He, he dissing Tupac. You can diss somebody that's gone. But you don't want them alive. Because word on the street, you know, everybody got together to get rid of artists that was way better than Jay-Z. And then they come out with this whole little fantasy. That, oh, Jay-Z is the best rapper that's ever lived that was that's out here. You're going to be the best rapper if you get rid of all of your competition. Of course you are. And this is what the industry is about. They couldn't stand King Von. And I'm not going to sit back here and just, you know, act like, you know, it ain't no big deal. I think it's, to be honest with you, I want y'all to pay attention to what's going on right now. Because they're trying to make the shy really look weak right now. They really are. They're trying to make the shy look like they soft. And um, they're far from it. Now this little Jay, he is got sugar all up in that tank. Okay, y'all? I ain't even going to sugarcoat that. But King Von, I doubt it very seriously, y'all. And who won't put that hat on and say, Oh, I'm Fruity Pebble for a minute just to get out of a bad situation. And if y'all don't know that, 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 that that was nothing but script, then there's something wrong with y'all. Okay? Let's keep going. I get along with, you know, with straight people and they follow those villages. They got a problem with me. I don't have a problem with The script continues. I get along with straight people and the other people. I don't have no problem with nobody. I get along with everybody. This is the script that continues. I'm not mad at you. He looked like he want to laugh while he's saying it. My thing is, why are they recording him while he, he's telling them that he don't want to be in there? They do this for a reason. So these tapes can hit the internet. Everybody know the police hated King Von. But ask yourself why him just talking to them is being recorded and to the point where now it's all over social media. Ask yourself that. It's some things that, you know, we need to get rid of. Just like, you know, the, the people released his, you know, his pictures when he passed away. The morgue and stuff when he's on the table. They released that. People like this should get sued. They should set examples for stuff like that. Because stuff like that should not get out. And if they do, people should get sued. If people personal, um... They go to the doctor and stuff like that, and that information gets out. People can get sued. So why can't come when you go to prison and this stuff get out, you can't get sued? Why do, um, you know, you go to certain places and this stuff can come out? You know, you go in an interrogation room and all these footage is coming out all on social media. You should be able to get sued for stuff like this. Because this puts a target on your back. Which also shows you that there's an agenda that's going on. That they can release this type of information out and get away with it, y'all. 
I want you to pay attention to everybody in the shy right now that's getting attacked. King Von getting attacked. He's not even here anymore. Okay? Lil J getting attacked. Uh, oh, well. Um, Fruity Pebble City, man. Okay? Lil Dirt. What happened to Lil Dirt at that party, y'all? Of course, his people is going to come out and, you know, give you the smoke and mirrors right now. But sit back and really think about what really happened to Lil Dirt, y'all. A lot of people don't care because they feel like he helped set up Lil um, King Von so he could get off of that crime. They they both did. Okay, y'all? A lot of people don't care. But I'm not even talking about that. I want to talk about the fact that he went to this party with Jay-Z now. And he has been out ever since. I want y'all to think about that. I want you to think about the fact that Lil Dirt, y'all, Lil Dirk, I said Lil Dirt, <laughs> a Lil Dirt, y'all. I want y'all to think about the fact that um, all of his shows, upcoming shows that's out of town has been canceled. Only ones that hasn't been canceled is The Shy. Did they scare the hell out of him, y'all? He don't even want to go out of town no more. He just trying to stay in the shy to stay away from the industry people. What did they do to Lil Dirt, y'all? Ask yourself this question. Let me pull up his picture so y'all won't think I'm talking still talking about um King Von. Let me pull up his picture real quick for y'all. What did they do to Lil Dirt? It's a known fact right now. Word on the street, okay? That Lil Dirt does a lot of P to the I to the L L S. It's a fact that people are, people are saying that's a fact. Okay, I don't know. I don't be with him. But this is what the industry is letting out to the world. That he is, you know, popping them things. Okay? He gets to a party where a lot of drinks is flowing and all kind of street pharmacy stuff is flowing. He gets to a party where everybody in there is then got tickle pink. And when I say tickle pink, I mean pink for real, for real. The guys got tickle pink. Okay, y'all? All the guys are all over each other. Now think about this, y'all. I want y'all to seriously think about this. If even if Lil Dirt refused any, you know, advantage advances on him by men at this party. What normally does people do when they want to get somebody off of their square? And they know they're, they're poison. Okay, y'all? You know what they're going to do? Keep feeding them something. Keep feeding them drinks. Keep feeding them the P to the I to the LLS until they have no control. Think about it. Everybody else is, was willing participants. Little baby, all of them. They were so happy to be in the arms of the men. They didn't know what to do. Beyonce could have tried to come and push them apart in Ashanti now. And they would have probably fought them just to be in the arms of the men. Okay, y'all? And that's little baby now. Now, just think about if Lil Dirt wasn't with it. <clears throat> think about it. We're just doing a scenario right now. What do you do? You keep feeding him. Keep feeding him whatever he likes. Until there's no more feeding him anymore. He can't fight it. Maybe he passed out. I don't know. I'm just saying. Did something happen? To Lil Dirt at that party. This is how they get these celebrities, y'all. Just think about it. This is how they get these celebrities. They take advantage of them. And then they have footage of them taking advantage of them. And then they extort money out of them. If you do not do this video with me. If you do not give me this amount of money, I'm going to let this footage out 
that, you know, there was some graping going on at that party. You get it, y'all? And I'm wondering, is this the situation with Lil Dirt, y'all? Did they get him in a compromising position that he didn't know about until he woke up out of it? Is he sick to his stomach right now to whatever they did to him at this party? Because as soon as he left there, he'd been at the hospital and been sick ever since for weeks now. Is he not just sick because of something they gave him, but from something they did to him too? Ask yourself this question. Do they know that Lil Dirt is going to be the type of person that's going to brush it under the rug and not ever say anything about it? What happened to him at that white party? Because he don't want it out. It's an embarrassment to him. Was this Lil Dirt's humiliation ritual that took place at that white party? Ask yourself this question. Because right now, only thing that people are saying is, about Lil Dirt is not making any sense. There's no way somebody is dehydrated for three weeks. There's no way. Everybody that I have talked to, they said they give you, you know, an IV, get some liquids in your body, and push you on out the door, and you're back to normal in a few days. Not a couple weeks. They're saying, oh, he was severely dehydrated, y'all. He was severely. Really? Did they suck the life out of Lil Dirt, y'all? Because he's still not himself. And when you're missing this type of money out here in these streets, oh, something happened, I do believe. Something went down. I don't know what it is, but something went down. And that's just, I'm just thinking out the box when I say what really happened. And is he too embarrassed to tell? Because he could possibly not want any footage out. Because every time they do something to these artists, they always have footage, y'all. This is how they get them, you know, in the headlock. Okay, y'all? This is how they get them. Same thing with Mo3. Mo3 did not drink. He did not do street pharmacy stuff. But the night that right before he passed away, he looked like he was wasted. What did they give him? And we all know they was trying to come at him. Because he was like, I'm a man. Tell me, is there something else that I can do? But I don't want to do that because I don't swing that route. Was this white party what they needed to have a hold on Lil Dirt like they needed to get it? And you're going to see a difference in him if, if. Y'all, and I say if they did something to him at that party, you're going to see a difference in him when he do resurface. If they did something, you're going to know. Because there's no, you know, ain't no acting and trying to get out of that. Because when you have been abused in some type of way, humiliated in some type of way with the industry, Oh, it's written all over your face. So we're going to see just how he's going to act when he comes out of whatever took place or what's going on with him. Because we know it ain't no dehydration. I doubt that very seriously. If he had dehydration, that just added on to whatever else that went on with him. Because I'm going to tell you this. The majority of the time that people go out and get their drink on and this and that and that and this. They be dehydrated. They have to drink water and stuff. That's why people tell you when you're sipping, drink some water too so you don't, you know, get too wasted. Okay? So this also tells you that he got sloppy, most likely at that party. And this probably where somebody might have, you know, I'm just saying, took advantage of him in any type of way. Y'all see what they were doing on the cameras while they were still, you know, um, just feeling good, just getting a little tipsy. Look how they were sandwiching in little baby. And they was making sure that the pictures 
was taken so that they can put it out here to embarrass all of these dummies. They really think these guys they was partying with is their friends. They released those pictures to the public on purpose so people could talk about y'all. But do they care? No, because they're in the in crowd. They think that they're, you know, they are cool because they're hanging out with these rich people. But they don't understand these rich people don't like y'all. And I say this all the time. They care about their own. They don't care about y'all. So now I'm wondering, is there a, a humiliation ritual that's about to take place or already has taken place with Lil Dirt, y'all? And is this his karma from what happened with Lil Dirt, with um, King Von? Ask yourself this question. Because something is going on right now. They're saying that, you know, he's not well enough to go back to work. But every single one of his concerts has been canceled, except for Chicago. So that tells you that maybe he's willing to go back to work, but he's only willing to go back in the city where he's at. Because I don't see no doctors telling you, you can't fly. You pay them, they don't pay you. So how can a doctor tell you when you can go back out of town again? So that seems like it's a bunch of bull right there, y'all. I'm just saying. <laughs> if you're well enough to do a concert in Chicago, you're well enough to fly and go do a concert somewhere else. So there's some red flags up right now. Is King Von wanting to, I mean, you know, not King Von, but is Lil Dirt wanting to stay in his own little premises right now? Because what might have took place when he started hanging out with these people? Because that's a lot of money that he's losing, y'all. I want y'all to think about that. And please, y'all, let me know in the comments section what y'all think about this. Because I do believe there's something up with this whole situation. There's something up that everybody in the chat right now is getting called out on stuff. Or something is happening with them. All this footage is popping up from these, you know, um, backstabbing a-holes of, you know, um, correction facilities at the same time. Lil Dirt goes out and hang out with, you know, them, and he's so sick now. I want y'all to think about that. Think about it. There is an agenda there they are pushing. Either they want shy to look like that their artist is weak because a lot of people can't stand them in the first place. So why not just make them look bad right now? Okay, y'all? Lose everything that they've you built in their careers. They can, they can say whatever they want about King Von. But King Von spoke for himself. His actions spoke for himself. There was nothing soft about no King Von. Nothing. Even in the prison, there was nothing soft about him. He was still had his script ready and, and, and locked and loaded so he can pull that script out. So he didn't have to be put in the enemy's den. And people still talking crazy. Everybody that has something to say about King Von right now in a negative way, they're haters. And they've been haters. And like I told y'all, all of this stuff goes hand in hand. Some of these bloggers are paid off. They're doing a job. Some of them are just lames. They're haters and lames. But a lot of them are paid off to run certain narratives. Because they're working with other people. They work with other artists. Look how they did Mo3. Look how all of the, the Dallas artists was, you know, dogging Mo3. Trying to act like they loved Mo3 and at the same time they was talking about him at the same time. A lot of haters on this on this line. A lot of them. And they like to flip the, that, that hating label. Oh, she's a hater. When they're the ones that's the hater. Okay, y'all? Pay attention to what's going on, y'all. And y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section about this whole situation. Do you all think that King Von said that just because he didn't want to be put in there with a bunch of his enemies? 
And if 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 it was if you all were in his position, would you have done the same thing? That's my question I want to ask to my subscribers. If you were in a position that you're in a street association and you're going into a prison cell, a whole little wing, and all your enemies is over there, would you say that you were Fruity Pebble just to get out of there? Ask yourself this question. Okay? Please answer it in the comment section. My next question is, do y'all think that they did something to Lil Dirt at that party? Did, is he going through his humiliation ritual right now? Trying to fit in. And did they let him know something? You're the enemy too. Did Jay-Z run some script on him, y'all? Telling him he admire him? Y'all let me know what y'all think about that whole situation. Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.